Oh, and I forgot to say, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build this community, sis. So please join the Famalama Grammarly. What is, what is that? What is that? I don't even know. I'm not as cool as I think I am. It's so sad. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie Ko, and over here we do beauty, hair, makeup, etc, etc, etc. Thank you so much for joining me again. So today's video um, is a little bit late. I apologise. Life has been lifing. But um, I did a poll on the community side of my channel and I asked you guys what you wanted to see next. And the overwhelming majority wanted to see really realistic, easy, everyday makeup. So when it comes to my makeup and now I'm older, I'm less concerned with covering up blemishes, doing all that stuff, highlighting, contouring, all that business. I just, I feel like I'm more on a path to make my makeup look as natural as possible. Um, when I do wear everyday makeup. So when I'm talking about everyday makeup, I'm talking about like wearing makeup to work, literally like a five minute thing. I'm not talking about full coverage, you know, getting rid of all your blemishes and things like that. Not concerned about that at the end of the day because that's for the full glam when I want to do the full glam, which I actually don't do a lot anymore. This is more for everyday, really easy uh, for beginners, um, to really accentuate your natural features and not be ashamed to show some blemishes and what your skin looks like. Nobody's skin is perfect, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I know I've got a lot going on up here. This wig, um, if you don't know about it, I've done a video on it already, so you can check my cards. So I've just moved in a little bit closer so you guys can see me a little bit better. Again, don't mind the wig, we'll sort this out once everything's been done. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do everyday, just easy, easy makeup today. If I look over at this side, it's cause my mirror is here. So the first thing I wanna start off with is my brows. I've recently changed the way I do my brows. Before, if you watch my other videos, it'd be like really sculpted filled in etc etc um, but now I'm trying to get into like the fluffy brow sort of thing I'm a little bit more natural so actually you probably can't tell but I did laminate my brows the other day for the first time at home I found a lamination kit on like ASOS I'll leave it in the description bar below if you want to check it out um, and upon doing that lamination kit I realized that basically that it's just, lamination is just relaxing your eyebrows because when I opened up the solution, sis, and the smell, the memories that came flooding back from like relaxing, when I used to relax my hair were like, foof, 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 foof. That's how quickly the memories came through. So first thing I'm gonna do is prime. I've recently been using the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Universal blurring balm powder as my primer and y'all this stuff is gold like gold my makeup lasts all day when I um wear this so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in areas where I get oily on my uh nose as well because I have quite huge pores basically just all over my face. If you do see that I have some texture on my face, I don't know what happened, but I broke out in some rashes yesterday. I actually have super sensitive skin and my face just didn't like it. So I'm breaking out in rashes here and here as well, which is, it is what it is. I've just got to find out why I'm breaking out in rashes, but, um, yeah, if you see some texture in my face, that's basically what it is. You need a really good primer <laughs> to start off your everyday makeup because you don't want to be worrying about your makeup sliding off, especially if you have a long day. So you really want to find a primer that works well for you. So next, what I want to do is I want to start on my brows. I always do my brows first. Um, I don't know why, I just do. You can do your brows however you want to do your brows. So I'm going to go in and use the Kosas Airbrow in the shade Dark Brown and just uh, fluff up my brows a little bit. Um, after I laminated them, I did try shaping them. I do everything myself now because um, people don't do things to my standards anymore. <laughs> and if I'm paying you like money, I want you to do it to my standards and people aren't doing it. And honestly, if I can teach myself how to do it, I will do it. So I don't know if you can tell the difference in my brows, but yeah, I've laminated both my brows. So once I actually brush them up, you can see that I've laminated them and um, trimmed them. When I was trimming this brow, in fact, 
um, I took off too much of my end, of the end of my brow, which is typical Natalie. So um, I will fill them in at some point. And you see, I sort of went a bit ham. Um, but I'm just doing this now so that it will set. I'm not really concerned about um, filling them in properly, properly right now because what will happen is when I put like my um, my foundation on and everything, it normally messes up my brows. So um, I'm just doing this to let them set and then I'll clean them up afterwards. But you can see we have definite sisters, not twins when it comes to my brows because I mess them up. And that's fine. I don't have any problem with it. I actually don't have any problem with it because this is just life. As I've gotten older, I'm like, it's not an issue for me. If you like a little bit of glow, after you've primed, you can go in with a glowy product if you want. Something like the e.l.f. glow um, foundation thing. I actually have it. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to do a video of like new products that I haven't tried. So you can go in with that. Some people like to use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm in the shade 6.5 Deep. Um, but this is one of the things I've recently worn um, and I don't know whether this broke me out so I'm not going to use this now. It hasn't broken me out before but I'm a bit sceptical about what products I'm using right now because of my rashes so I won't use that today. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Fenty Ease Drop Lit and this is in the shade Honey Citrine and this is really good if you really want like a natural looking makeup. You want natural looking makeup with a little bit of glow um, because I find glow is the key for natural looking makeup in itself. If you're too matte, your face isn't that matte in normal life, right? In everyday life your face isn't naturally matte you want some glow and you want to keep that glow there so I'm just literally going to apply it like this again not a lot just to give us a little bit of glow I'm not applying it everywhere because I'm going to use highlighter as well um, so I'm just going to blend this in to give me a little bit of a glow Wow, my rashes are really bad. If you don't want to use a product like this or you don't have a product like this, you can go ahead and use like a really glowy um, sort of face cream or you can just spritz your face beforehand with a glowy spritz spray and that will work just as well. This is optional. This is actually doing a lot more than you need to do for easy everyday makeup. But this is just if you want a glow because you can see I've got a nice healthy glow on my skin now after applying that and again I didn't apply too much just a little bit didn't even bother with my forehead child because we'll be here all day so next let's go in with foundation again use your favorite foundation I would recommend a medium to light coverage foundation depending on what your requirements are obviously you can do full coverage but full coverage tends to be a lot heavier so if you can find like a full coverage foundation that feels lightweight that'd be great as well because remember you're going to be wearing this all throughout the day so i'm going to go in with the makeup forever hd skin foundation on a what is this this is the style pro s101 brush which is like this. I need to wash my brushes, honestly. I need someone to create a brush washing service where you can just send your brushes off to them, your makeup brushes, and they will clean it for you. Because I'm I, I'm terrible when it comes to cleaning brushes. I hate cleaning my brushes. And I would gladly pay someone to clean my brushes for me. So if that exists in the UK, let me know because someone needs to make a company. So I'm just literally gonna do a pump um, on the uh, brush and I'm going to go in and apply and I like using brushes like this because you can really go in and blend out your foundation really well. Now I found a really important uh, key to having really nice natural foundation is blending out your foundation really really well if you don't blend out your foundation it's not going to look natural so really spend time on blending making sure there are no streaks or anything like that so that's what I'm doing now and can you see what I mean in the importance of like blending stuff out because it still looks like skin you see so I'm just going to do another bit on the other side 
Don't forget to bring it down if you need to, depending on your hairstyle, you've got to bring it to certain places, depending on what you're wearing as well. Make sure you bring it in and around. I'm not gonna go under my eyes because I am going to uh, conceal. Skin-like, very skin-like. We're here for it, yes we are. So in terms of concealers, again, I like to keep it pretty natural with a good luminous concealer. So for everyday um, concealer wear, I actually use the Maybelline Erase Anti-Age Concealer. This is like one of my favorite drugstore slash high street beauty items. I've re-upped on this several times and I think it's just really good for everyday wear. And I really like it and I like this shade as well. And I'm literally not gonna do too much. What I wanna do is raise my, um, sort of raise my brows to highlight this area and create, basically highlight it. So this is what I do. Even this is a lot to be honest with you, but these are the only areas I highlight. Um, I realized that I wasn't filming, so I'm just gonna go over what I've uh, just said. God knows how long I've been talking to myself for. So I just applied concealer um, and now I'm setting with a pressed powder. I'm using one of these pads, which I absolutely love. And I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder in honey to set under my under eye. You can use whatever translucent powder you love using. Um, another one I love using is the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. Um, I use the shade tan and that's beautiful if you want like an airbrushed, flawless under eye um, but I'm going with the Laura Mercier one in honey just because a lot of people tend to have that so I'm just literally pressing it in there pressing off the excess into the cap and what I love about these little pads is you can press and really get into the corner of your eye so I've already done one half already and I'm going to go in and do the other and I'm just going to press that in to where the concealer is to allow that to set. And that's everywhere I applied concealer. I'm just gonna do my, a little bit with the residual, I'm just gonna do my eyelids as well because I have oily lids. And this is what we're looking like now. So this looks a bit matte, I feel ya, I get ya. It's not gonna be matte when we're finished. When I use liquid products, I need to make sure I reinforce them with powder because I do have oily skin, oily combination skin, especially in my T-zone. So I kind of have to go matte and then use products to give me the glow afterwards. We've set our face now. Um, you may be asking, okay, Natalie, so are we gonna do eyeshadow? Sis, we're not gonna do eyeshadow. This is easy, lazy, everyday makeup. We're not gonna do eyeshadow at all. It's not needed. If you wanna do eyeshadow, you can go in and do it. You can just brush some bronzer over your eyelids um, with a fluffy brush. It doesn't even need to be precise, but I don't wear eyeshadow every day. I don't even wear eyeshadow a lot nowadays. So the next step for me would be one of my favorite steps. If you know me, you know me, it's bronzer. I love bronzer. I will always have a ton of bronzer on. You can't stop me with bronzer. It's always gonna be bronzer. And I will go ham with bronzer because that's what I do. Um, but obviously you don't need to do this. You can omit this if you want, uh, but I love bronzer. I just think it adds more dimension and shape to my face. I don't tend to contour as much anymore. I just bronze. So a good everyday bronzer that I love, love using is the NARS Matte Bronzer in Karimba, which looks like um, this here. I love using this as a bronzer. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. I'm not even gonna be precise about this. Just literally gonna roll it in the bronzer like that, tap off excess, and I'm gonna hit the sides of my forehead because I've got a big forehead. So I'm gonna hit the sides of my forehead and the top of my forehead as well, just to aid with the um, blending process. I'm gonna suck in my cheeks and do the sides. So. That's what I'm gonna do as well. I'm not really very um, precise with bronzer when I'm wearing wigs because it normally covers, my wigs normally cover the side of my face. But if I was going out with short hair, then I will be more precise with how I'm applying my bronzer because obviously you'll be able to see it. But I literally just apply it to the side of my face in a three motion. So, underneath my chin as well. And that brings some color 
back into the face. I know it looks stark because of how I've set my under eye with the trans uh, with the Laura Mercier powder, but again, we'll fix this. So bronzer's been applied now. Next is powder. So to tone down what's going on here, we need to add some powder, right? We wanna sort of make sure everything blends in together. So what I'm going to do, and again, we wanna reinforce this makeup for the majority of the day. I'm gonna take my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, um, and this is in the shade 65 Toffee. Um, I don't think the Micro Smooth Powders are currently available in the UK, but other powders I like to use is the Makeup Forever um, Powder. I'll leave the names of them down below because I'm terrible at remembering names, but the Makeup Forever Powder, the Fenty Beauty Foundation Powder is great, the e.l.f. camo powder is great. Any sort of powder foundation that has some color that can give you some coverage is great for all over coverage to sort of blend out any light spots and the highlight in your face. So I'm just literally gonna take, again, the fluffy brush that I've used and normally concentrate this around the area that I placed the concealer. Because we want highlight, but we also want things to blend really nicely. So you can use it to blend out your bronzer as well if you've applied too much. And I really, really, really like this powder. Like Sephora has launched in the UK, but we still don't have a lot of the things that they have in like US. So hopefully they'll be um, improving that as time goes on. Next is blush. I love me some blush. I, lo I never know which blush to go for. It's literally just what I want to pick up on the day. T I tend to, I guess, for everyday Miller wear, go for an orange blush because orange blushes look gorgeous and natural on a black skin. Um, I have quite a few orange blushes. I tend to want to go for like a matte orange blush. Um, again, because it looks great on black skin and you can sort of build up matte orange blushes if you do not have a matte orange blush and you have an eyeshadow palette that has a matte orange in it go to town with that girl it's literally the same thing one thing i want to stop people from doing is like buying new things when you can repurpose the things you already have so if you have a matte orange eyeshadow color use that as a blush sis if there's a shadow that's in one of your eyeshadow palettes that you think could be great as a blusher Go ahead and use that. There are no rules to this makeup game. Okay, so I'm gonna take the oh, Makeup Revolution. I have so many brands. I think it's Revolution XX blusher in the shade Cliche, which looks like this. It's literally a really deep terracotta orange. Again, my light is washing it out, but it's a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm just gonna take the same brush again, dab it in to the blush and apply into the cheeks. Like so. And that gives you a nice, gorgeous glow and a healthy glow as well. So this is what we're looking like now, but you're like, Natalie, you still look too matte. This is where your setting sprays come into place, sis, your setting sprays. A great setting spray to use to get rid of this matte is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Now this is pricey, so you can use other things. Um, Elf have like a coconut dewy setting spray. Um, I used to use Fix Plus because Fix Plus is great for making matte makeup seem more like skin. Um, but what you want is a dewy setting spray. Now don't panic because if you have oily skin, you're like, why do I want a dewy setting spray? We'll tackle that with another setting spray. But for now to make this look more like skin, go in with your setting spray at this point. And go liberally ham with it, sis. And what I'm gonna do now is let that dry. And it's looking a little bit more like skin now because we've got rid of that unnatural matte look. Now, as I said, don't wanna do any sort of eyeshadow. You can do eyeshadow if you want to. Again, like I said, just a wash of bronzer is fine, but I don't do eyeshadow every day. But I want my, I still want my eyes to pop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with mascara. And the reason why I'm looking around is because I can't see my mascara, but I know it's staring me in the face. My 
favorite, favorite mascara right now is the MAC MAC Stack Mascara. Sis, when I tell you length and volume, I tell you length and volume. And I think this is another reason why I don't really like wearing uh, eyeshadow for every day now because this does everything it needs to do. I got the mini, I will be repurchasing the full size one, um, but I love it. So I'm just gonna apply a liberal amount of mascara to really accentuate my eyelashes because I haven't applied any eyeshadow. And I'm not gonna, oh, you probably realize, but I'm also not gonna apply eyeliner. Sometimes I like wearing eyeliner um, in the day, but most times they're not, I don't, because again, this is the lazy girl, easy everyday makeup. So can you see where I'm going with, with this mascara? Absolutely fantastic. So now that's done, the next thing I wanna do is highlight. Oh, I love me a good highlighter for everyday makeup. And now one that I absolutely love is the Lorac Tantalizer. I think this gives you a beautiful natural glow. But Lorac don't do this, and this thing is like 10 years old. I should chuck it away. So I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> what I am gonna use, oh, I feel like I'm using a lot of discontinued products. Um, but it's because I love them and they're fantastic. I am going to use the Becca highlighter in Chocolate Geodes. Um, Becca have gone. Don't know why, but look at this beautiful, beautiful highlighter. I have to. Again, same fluffy brush. Because this brush is great at just sweeping on makeup. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the side. And sweep. And that's it. Sweep. And that's it. So in terms of lips, again, do whatever you wanna do, whatever you like doing, it's absolutely up to you. I love doing a matte nude lip or semi-nude lip. Um, I may not do that today, actually. I may just get out of my comfort zone, but I like a nude lip because it just lasts throughout the day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Sephora um, Contour, sorry, Rouge Gel Lip Liner in Molasses because I recently got it and I loved it. Um, but another lip liner that's really great as well is the NYX Line Loud Lip Liner in the shade Rebel Kind. That's also really good as well, but I'm gonna take this one because I love how deep it is. One thing about me is I'm terrible at lining my lips. I am the worst when it comes to lining my lips. I've lined my lips and for my lipstick today, because I loved it so much, I'm going to use the uh, Sephora lipstick in the shade Squad Goals. And this is a really good everyday lipstick to use because it's slightly shiny and it's a good nude lipstick to wear. So I'm just gonna apply this um, now. Can you see that? Oh, this is beautiful and it's nourishing too. And one thing I like is that it does the blending for you so you don't need to blend out your lips as much. So we're almost done. The last step is to spritz again. We got to spritz again because we want this to last, babe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re-up on the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Not as much this time. I do have the Milk Hydro Grip Grip Set. I don't know if this does anything to be honest with you. I don't think so, but I use it anyway. Or the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist is great as well. Um, it's over there, I just can't be bothered to get it. So we're gonna fan our face again. And this is what we're looking like after our face has been fanned. Now this is a little bit too luminous for me. So what I'm gonna do again with my go-to brush, this brush does everything for me. This is the BH Jumbo Face Brush. I'm just going to take a little bit, a little bit of my Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder. Um, and I like this because it doesn't give you a lot of coverage. And I'm just gonna apply it um, in places where I feel like I'm a little bit too oily or shiny, not really oily, but we want it to look more natural. And voila, we're done. Easy, cute, everyday makeup. Um, I'm so lazy when it comes to everyday makeup now. I don't wanna spend a lot of time in it. I wanna get it done in like 20 minutes. And this literally takes me 15 to 20 minutes, obviously because I'm filming today. It took me a little bit longer, but I like it to be easy. I like it to be quick and I like it to be foolproof. And I found this is what works for me. The real key here is finding products that you know 
work really well with your skin and products that you can blend in really well as well. You don't need to do cream and then blush on top of it, blah, blah, blah. You can use the old products that you normally use. You just gotta make sure you blend it in and you use the right setting sprays for you to make sure you have that longevity for the full day. Um, accentuate your best features. For me, it's like my lips and my eyelashes. Um, but if it's for you, it's something like, okay, your eye shape, you can go in with your eyeliner if you want to, to accentuate your eye shape. Um, you know, if it's your cheeks, you can do that. If it's your freckles, go ahead and do that. If you wanna add freckles, go ahead and do that. If you wanna add like an inner eye highlight, go ahead and do that as well. But this is what works for me for easy everyday makeup where you're looking put together, you're looking flawless, you're looking cute and you did it in 20 minutes, sis. Yeah, your blemishes are still showing through and that's okay. No one's gonna come for you for your blemishes. Nobody is, it's okay believe me. But let me know if there's any products that you really love using as everyday products. Uh, do, you, did you, do you use any of the products that I've used today? And are they your go-tos for everyday makeup? Do you feel like you could recreate something like this for everyday makeup now? Um, feel free to let me know. I hope this was easy to follow. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave them down below in the comment section, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.